go down, but one DT gets through. That's gonna help, though. Certainly, there's no more mines in the front. Uh, engineering base, so there are, all right, so there is, uh, oh, chop it. Wow, he doesn't get it. It does take one hit, uh, Dark Templar does. Um, he's gonna be able to get right in there, though, and uh, this, uh, yeah, exactly. My Mines in the mineral lines would not be good. Uh, because obviously they would just kill every single uh, SCV there. So wow, I gotta say Debonair is probably gonna win this game against the off racing Terran. Uh, he's gonna live. He's gonna live. Yeah, temp yeah. DTs take two hits, uh, three hits. Um, they can take two hits without dying from the mines. But um, anyway, let's see what happens. Uh, he's all the way in the. I mean, yeah, this is probably gonna be uh, a win for Debonair. Wow, he manages to uh, blow up some SCVs too, and more DTs coming. Oh, nice mine though. Great mind. So, um, man, if, if somehow Erdogan comes back from this, uh, that's just that would be amazing. I don't think he can though. I mean, because he's got like seven SCVs left. Um, his opponent right now is uh, just gonna stream. Looks like DTs actually. More and more DTs. Um, right, right in front. And uh, I think I think that might be. Um, I think Erdogan might be okay with that if he builds one turret around here or something. Um, right now, it looks like yeah, these DTs are gonna gonna get stopped pretty soon. Uh, one vulture is gonna do uh, some harassment or something. Um, just hanging around in front, maybe try to uh, yeah, plant some lines, but I guess they couldn't get in. Anyway, so Erdung definitely has a lot of uh, making up to do here. Um, he's got himself just, uh, you know, see the SCV saturation. He lost a lot of mining time. Uh, he's down, obviously, one expansion against, uh, or yeah, down an expansion. Um, yeah, so right now more and more DTs. I, I don't know if these DTs are gonna work necessarily anymore, but it looks like there's the turret I was talking about. It's gonna get done barely on time, I think. Ooh, it's gonna be close, but uh, I think, oh, that vulture's doing a good job of distracting, <laughs> being annoying, nice. And the, and the turret is done, so I think that's gonna stop this. Uh, run, run, all right, he gets away. So the DTs temporarily are stopped, uh, at least from walking in. Um, let's see what's going on inside of uh, Debonair's base, how he plays this from now on. He's going to get a robotics facility, probably for observers, uh, maybe for some kind of bulldog attack, we'll see. I think perhaps just observers, and then uh, some, some speedlot dragoons should be able to just win this game. Um, he could also expand at this point very safely uh, because of the map control he has. Um, there's no way the Terran can move out. There's, he doesn't have any scanners, uh, he just won't be able to stop those DTs. So uh, we could be seeing that too, another expansion. Very tank heavy, actually. A little bit surprised by that uh, from Erdung. I guess he built them when he thought uh, there was going to be dragoons coming instead of um, DTs. Definitely, I think it surprised him uh, when they did did show up and, and get in there. Could have seen a shuttle. Nope, it's just going to be observers, most likely. So we're we're going to see. Um, yeah, these vultures are uh, just uh, mining up the front here. I think that's going to pretty much settle the. Uh, the, the DT issue, although they still could be dropped theoretically um, into the main uh, with a shuttle. So, Dragoons chilling out in the front. Got ourselves uh, two bases here, of course. Um, these vultures probably looking for an, another expansion. That's probably what normally would happen in this situation, but we haven't seen it from uh, the Provost player yet. Um, he probably, he has a lot of options at this point. I mean, he could just uh, play macro, he could. Uh, go for some kind of intermediate attack, like timing attack right now, with like a shuttle or two. Um, although perhaps he doesn't need to do that because, uh, ooh, and that could be bad right there, that mine. <laughs> right there, that could be very bad. Um, he doesn't really need to do that because uh, his opponent hasn't even started with an expansion yet, and he's got two perfectly uh, fine expansions for a while, uh, and now he's got that combination of uh, Dragoons and uh, <laughs> observers. Oh, DT's just waiting out there, man. I mean, I like the fact that he's waiting, actually, um, because, uh, you know, the tanks might actually decide to move out, and, and they would just be surprised by them right here. So, we might see an attack. I don't know if he's gonna, if it's gonna work, though, without a shuttle or something to break the uh, front. Um, maybe just a, a contain here. Uh, also a strong possibility. You, Debonair, still just pumping out of four gateways, and uh, we're gonna see. I mean, uh, normally I would say Erdung's just completely defeated, but you know, seeing what he's been doing t today, maybe he's gonna come back. I mean, it, it would be a, a quite miraculous. I gotta say, though, he's still just on one base, coming up with a second now. Um, but if Debonair doesn't expand again, I think he'd be making a big disservice to himself. 
absolutely needs to expand at this point, and he is, okay. So he is going to go and expand, that's good. Um, perhaps progress up the tech tree a little bit, uh, maybe go for Arbiters at this point. Uh, that, that is a possibility. Right now, he's just content to contain here. Um, it's, it's actually pretty effective, I would say, though, because really he knows he's ahead and he doesn't want to risk an attack. Um, he doesn't need to attack very fast. Right now, we're just going to have to see how he plays the mid-game, if he can play it with uh, confidence here, as much confidence as he had right in the beginning. Because uh, i got to say, that was a very spectacular opening, just like getting all those units up the ramp, killing um, the Zealot Micro, killing the Marines. Uh-oh, looks like we could be seeing some kind of uh, crazy uh, Bulldog strategy here. Some uh, uh, Zealots loaded up there and dropped on the ledges. Um, that would be very, very exciting. And uh, very hard to pull off, too, though. I mean, it's not an easy build to, to get if there's turrets everywhere. But there's not a lot of turret coverage, so that could work, in fact. We're going to have to see. Um, good group of forces here. Uh, and the expansion now going up at the upper left. So, pretty sure Erdong is, uh, you know... He, he, he knows he's behind and he's probably just trying to... I, I see he's... Uh, yeah, he's going to try to make up with a harassment. Exactly what I was going to say. I was saying he's going to try something sneaky to try to uh, use his, uh, his multitasking advantage, which I do think he has an advantage in. This could be something that um, works out very well. Let's see if there's any cannons. No cannons here, no cannons here, no defenses, in fact. So this could be very bad for... Um, for uh, Debonair, in fact. I mean, Urdog is definitely... This is what Flash does. I mean, this reminds me of KTF Flash a little bit. Uh, he... If he's behind, he'll just go and abuse his uh, multitasking. He'll be like, hey, you can't do three things at once, and I can. You know, and you try dealing with it. Anyway, so right now we're seeing the bulldog attack. Uh-oh. If this works, it's going to be the man dog attack. Yes. This is very Reach style. Reach wins a lot of his uh, PBTs with this kind of move. Wow. This is going to work, I think. This is going to be it. Uh, despite whatever harassment comes, there's nothing left in the front. I don't know. I guess that tank on the ledge got killed off also. So, yeah, this is going to be it. Uh, natural expansion going down. Um, doesn't matter if this uh, vultures kill every probe. I mean, this is going to kill the main base. Uh, and, and really, I, I think the tanks could have been positioned slightly better. I don't think he saw that one coming. Certainly not enough turrets um, to make a, a you know to, to stop that drop from happening. So uh, it looks like the vultures. Wow, yeah, doing it. They're chasing away the probes. The probes didn't even die. So good work there by Debonair. Um, he's just going to be fine here with. Uh, his reinforcements coming over. Meanwhile, he's gotten up the ramp, and uh, yeah, there's nothing left. Um, I, I don't know if our Erdung's gonna play off race. I have a feeling that uh, that Erdung's probably gonna stick to his main race for the last game. Yeah, there we go, GG. So one one is the series. Uh, Erdung kept his promise, and uh, you know, it looks like Devin Air is gonna take advantage of that, uh, take advantage of that, and and pick up this game. So let's move on to game three now. Um, the winner, I guess, picks the map, and I assume Erdung's gonna play on race.